What is up everyone? It is uh, day two at the compound of basically being here for almost a, almost a week. We're trying our best to do daily vlogs. It's not easy, but we're gonna do our best. So today, it's kind of like that weird awkward middle day where tomorrow we're testing the E36 on the track. Uh, but today, a lot of guys are showing up for the LZ Invitational and uh, we are just have a bunch of chores to get done and we're gonna have some fun. If you guys saw in the last video, we drove here straight to the middle of the night. We were all up for basically two days straight and uh, everyone was getting pretty delusional last night. So, it feels good to be rested. Yeah, I feel good. Oh, let's see what Mr. March is up to. He's still here. Good morning. Good morning, Grit. How's Florida Jim and the Florida Whip? Living the dream, baby. This, this is, is the, the best Florida car oh, ever. <laughs> <laughs> best Florida car ever. What are you guys doing? What you been up to, huh? Uh, we were doing donuts. Already? Yeah, Already? yeah. No way. A little 8:30 a.m. donuts. Yeah, we were just testing out a buddy's car for yeah, him. Yeah, buddy's car. Is, hey, was my E36 there this morning? No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, not that buddy. Another buddy. Don't worry about it. He's trouble. So we've been running around trying to help the boys get ready for the event since LZ has a million and a half things to do. And I walk inside the main shop, and what do I see? Spoon working on a Honda. Listen, it's not a Honda thing. I just want to get Adam right. Can't be having him out here looking wild. He's got these aftermarket fenders and they're just you said not. said I couldn't get him to fit. You tell me. Oh, come on, Spoon. What the heck? <laughs> last night he's like, last night he's like, I'm going to make those fenders. I said, Spoon, have you seen those door lines? It ain't fit. Those are just not the right fenders. Uh, Spoon really misses the Honda. No, I don't. It's just. <laughs> nah, it's just one of these. Okay. That'll do. <laughs> Def definitely a cool car, though. B or K? B series is good, but K is the way. B is just so iconic. It just yeah. looks right. Yeah, it looks it's just good. hard finding parts. Yeah, it's and hard expensive. to find like a complete swap or finding any parts of it. Going right here, Marco. Excuse me. Oaks Garage. We make it work. Definitely hood body work. We all have an uncle. <laughs> You're now that uncle. <laughs> <laughs> about to say, you either have the uncle or you are the uncle. <laughs> I'm just gonna come in there. Still, look at, look at the gaps like even now before it was like touching the hood. Uh -huh. All right, you know what? I'm gonna just come back a little bit later because I got some things to do. Oh, jump. Hey, look at that. Hey, it's, we're jumping? I, we're jumping. I jumped. Nice. Give me the fuck. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, we've been doing a lot of running around today. So uh, on to the next thing. Luke we drove the car. He was probably the only other person that drove the car uh, in his previous state and uh, I'm pretty sure you remember how it was, so. Have you uh, told everyone how good that eyeball alignment was yet? <sighs> we had to redo the alignment at the track. We didn't have toe plates. Luke did the eyeball alignment. It was... <laughs> you you were freaking out. You're like, it's way too much. Oh man, it's gonna... Be... I'm like, trust me, what it, was it? We, we, test, we checked it last night. It was dead nuts, dude. Like, to the T. <laughs> I'm actually, like, sometimes, <laughs> I, got, I got bad eyes, but sometimes they work. All right, let's but see it. Let's see, what's yeah. the power? You've changed the power stuff. Yeah, so it makes, I brought the basically the peak power, I brought it all the way down so it's more controllable. Right. And we actually have real front tires on now. <laughs> He's getting right after it. <laughs> he seems a lot comfier this time. Not even the same car, dude. Crazy. It's right? not even the same car at all. He looks comfy. It went from like uh, SR with a T88 <laughs> to like more like honestly, it's like we're here at LZ, so linear. Linear. It's linear. It's crazy. Sometimes less power is better power. No, 100%. 100%. Yeah, like drivability wise, this is night and day. Awesome. Like this drove like, it drove like doo doo before. Yeah. Chauffeur? Yes, sir. So we finally found time to give the boys a proper tour because you've only seen the main building here. That's it. That's Stay it. Shot. That's where I've been all day. Yeah, we've been working. <laughs> Got the compound. LZ's putting you to work. But we're yeah, happy but to you do got it. that CRX looking. Come on. I'm at it. All right, boys. Actually, I got you. So. That, that's the work section, right? We call this Gator Alley. So we call this one right here, so. Ant doing ant things. He's nice with it. He is nice with it. So, this Gator Alley. Are there any actual gators? I like to think so, but there's definitely not. 
So this is the storage bay, right? This is where all the lifts are, okay. Wait, we have to have a code. That's what? That's the thing, we have to have a code. I have a code? You think I don't have a code? Girl, look, it's the series, she'll talk to you. I have my own code here. Hey. hey. Is there anything in here that we can't show? Yeah, we're gonna find out. Ooh. Ooh. No, it's not every day you just get to see all Midnight Purple at 34. Oh. What do you think? Eh. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Spoon. What if I take that home with me? Yeah. I'll have to drive the chaser. What was that? I guess I'll have to drive the chaser. Come on. Oh. Come on. Another S chassis? I mean, why not? I'm, I'm not gonna, I won't build on the channel. I just want it. I'm a big fan of it. It looks clean. Is it a KA car? It looks like it needs a paint job, so I'm not for it. <laughs> <laughs> it's dent and dinged up, but it's not rusty. Solid. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. S14's in an age very well, but this one. This thing is. Oh, Look at that rare on S14. That's right. Oh, this color. Oh, this color is so good. This car is. So I don't know what we can and cannot show in here. So uh, edit, you might have to edit some of this out. You're just gonna have to tell me what. Oh, it's packed in here. Jesus yeah. Fucking Christ. Holy shit. Well, what's sick uh, is Adam actually rents out a decent, oh, a lot of spots now. Holy crap, it's packed. Um, in here and you know temperature controlled storage is really cool and is able to offset a lot of the cost of the actual compound, which is super super cool. Smart. I see him for that big time. Smart. Smart man. Smart, smart businessman. What? Right hand drive? Hey. Purple? Is that a sick E36? No way. I love the purple. Yeah. That is so cool. So the rest of the cars in here actually aren't Adams, but there's some cool things back here. And the one thing I do want to show is for some reason, there's three Mark III Golfs in here. Or no, there's a four-door Golf, a GTI, and a Jetta, which is super cool. The last thing I'd expect to see on the compounds. Look how nice that Jetta is. The Jetta. GTI, the four I'm door. Wagon guy, but that jet is fire. Dude, that, is that? It looks like it's Midori green. I don't know what what color that is from Volkswagen, but dude, that thing looks like it should be in a museum. The OZ tri spokes. Oh my god, that thing is so good. Mike Supra, clean as fuck. Mike Supra, real proud of him. If I had a dollar for every time I tried to buy that from him, I probably could have afforded it. He's so clean. What a cool color. Damn, dude, this is the nicest Mark II I've ever seen. Look how cool that thing is. Look at the vented fender. Hey, yeah. what? Let's build one, put a K in it. Yeah, this thing goes crazy. It's cool. As I walk into the pole. <laughs> Let's go uh, check out the Drift HQ building. Those wheels are so expensive. Yeah, he's gangster. It's just a good car. All reliable. She's just a good car. You guys got a lot of history with this thing, don't you? Yeah, I got a lot of memories with this car. It's kind of crazy to see it, to be honest. Yeah. I wish my black coupe can have the same fate as this thing, but I'm telling you. we'll bring her back. We'll, we'll bring, bring it back. Yeah. So there's a lot of different cool corners about this compound, and you guys have probably seen most of it if you watch LZ. One thing I want to check out is the Drift HQ shop because they fully renovated it, and they got a lot of, a lot of cool style down there. And I want to I want to hop in and check it out and uh, see what the boys are working with. That GS is sick. Yellow car appreciation. Jordan's car, it's yellow. We're appreciating it. Nice car, Jordan. The boys are jamming and I could hear it. Dude, the shop, I haven't seen, I haven't been here since the shop was finished. And then, oh, it, yeah. and then it flooded four feet of water and now it's back again. It looks a lot better now, don't it? It is sick in here. AC's bumping, lights are cool. Lace yeah. up. All the fresh lights. Garage my hall light, you know, let everybody know where they're at. I love that. It's so dope. This is such a vibe, dude. Look at this. We're ready for Friday. Look, we got all of our, you know, liquors from out of the country. Everybody who comes to visit <laughs> oh, yeah. us, brings us booze. It's pretty cool, you know? So if you come to Drift HQ, you come to LZ Combo, make sure you bring a bottle of something or other for cricket. Yeah. Oh, the, <laughs> two bottles of two favorites. The holiday special. A, make sure it's not the cheap stuff. Barbados. Honestly, cricket's easy. He probably likes the cheap stuff. Yeah, I like yeah. bush light. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> So if you guys want to see any of the Drift HQ work, they have their own YouTube channel. We'll put it well, they're always doing some cool stuff and some behind the scenes stuff that uh, is always really fun. And Crick and Chris are, they might be funny looking, but they're actually really funny too. So there's one thing I do want to show off and it's this new DCT system. And it's like, it's not new, but it is very new at the same time. Cause it's not something that's very commonly done just yet. And it's something that seems like it'd be a really good idea. This shifter right here, you see this right? 
very mechanical. It's like a sequential, right? So what this is actually linked to is a DC a DCT transmission, which is a dual crush transmission, which means it's basically a an automatic transmission that preloads a gear by having two clutches right here. So basically, it's a really fast shifting auto trans, to put it in the simplest terms. And what's really dope is they hook it up to a sequential style shifter, and they are actually able to put a simulated clutch pedal in here that'll actually disengage and engage the transmission like it's manual. So essentially, you get super fast shifting dialed sequential transmission that's automatic. I mean, it is a poor man sequential. It really is, but it's, it's almost smoother. It has more tuning capabilities. And it doesn't sound like a trend. And it doesn't sound like your transmission is about to explode, which is super, super cool. So the Drift HQ guys are doing it. Um, quite a few cars overseas that have this really dialed in. And uh, the Drift HQ guys are always ahead of the curve, so they're getting this set up in their E90. Or is this E92? What's the E92? Too? And they have, they're getting this set up in their E92. And uh, I'm really excited to see it. Because these transmissions just come in like stock road cars. You can go to a junkyard, get a DC trains transmission from a, I don't know, some type of, there's so many different cars that have it. Really thinking about doing an E36 because after the LZ Invitational, we have like three months of downtime for drifting. And if any, I mean, we we got this. Imagine that. I'm all for it. Just, uh, uh, oh, that's the wrong way. Uh, uh, uh. I don't know, it's just a really cool idea. And I think it has a very strong hold on the future of motorsports. And uh, I think the BMW would be a pretty good fit, fit for it since I suck shifting with my left hand. We all know that. <laughs> all right, I've seen a lot of pit bikes and I heard through the grapevine that Grant's building a track with a jump. With a jump. I heard he busted his ass this morning. <laughs> <laughs> I always forget there's a bunch of land back here that's not being used. So uh, let's, right here? let's see if the golf cart will make it down. Oh, that looks wet. We got this. Hold on tight, Austin. One in doubt, throttle out. I'm full. <laughs> Just like oh. rallying. Oh, oh my god. Yes, yes, go. I'm gonna fucking tip this go. thing. Shit. Oh. <laughs> oh. oh. What? I think we're in the wrong spot. That's not it. That's he, it. That's he said it. it was like almost done. That's not, he said it was done. Let's hit the jump. Nope. This jump don't work. Watch your neck. <laughs> Not much of a jump, that's just a dirt pile. You said we gotta pack it down. Oh, oh shit! <laughs> <laughs> I didn't think it would go up into the With up. enough speed, I think we could probably make it. I'm packing oh, it Jesus down, baby. They're packing it down. <laughs> oh, God damn it! Oh, <laughs> it's a pretty big jump, though. But we got some work to do, so let's get at it. So much when we're building jumps we're at my house at the track he's the first one to take off his shirt and come help me and sweat his ass off and i just wanted to say thank you jim because i appreciate it i'm out you. here busting ass and he's right next to me love that love it we ain't a car channel today boys we're a dirt channel <laughs> i got a stuff oh there we go No, it's just like, that's how big the gap is. Soft, Jimmy. That was no, easy. Bad. It always like... It always is scary until you're midway in the air and then you're like, oh, this is fine. Probably looks so stupid online, but in person it's pretty big. No. <laughs> and doesn't like jumps, but he's got the helmet on. Grant, did you hit it in second? So I hit it in second, but I was like really limiter in second. You could be third and just smooth over it. Yeah! Woohoo! Oh, 
We almost shouldn't say this, but we thought he was going to flat, yeah, but that was said. perfect. <laughs> That was what? graceful. That it was a hard out. fall. No, the ground's so soft. Hey, let's yeah. move that. We're gonna move this. <laughs> <laughs> it's the worst one when you get off the, as soon as you hit off the jump and you feel off balance, you're like, oh, I got a lot of, a couple you seconds and I'm going down. Well, we got that out of the way. Now we're Side question. Picked up some E86. Got some springs. The guys at BC looked at me like I was gonna rob the joint. It's just me. <laughs> Where else did I go? Uh, Monster Performance. Those guys were cool. Steve got us covered on the ethanol because we came without any because the winter ethanol right now in the Northeast ain't good. So we had Steve go pick up taller springs so we could raise the rear of the car because it's sitting a little low. Spoon wants it a lot higher. I only want it a little higher. Um, I'm compromised with y'all. I want a little higher. <laughs> I know. I'm playing with you. So uh, we got taller springs and we got a softer spring rate so it's a little soft back there for some more bite. So uh, tomorrow's the test day. So we, at some point we should start prepping for it. But for now we're having fun. <laughs> got a lot of different countries hanging out here together. Good to see you. Good to see you. It's been a long time. It has been a long time. I have a uh, preset on my lights just to match your hair. Really? <laughs> yeah. Hey guys, this video is sponsored by Type S. <laughs> it's a little too purple. Yeah. Gender reveal. <laughs> just the lights. Yeah. And it's an orange. What does that mean? I don't know. Check it out. This is my my European Japanese car. All right. Yeah. All right it's a right-hand drive European car. Oh, it is right -hand Big drive. Irish boys over there. Um, but it's from Japan, so it, it's like a little quirky. I don't know. I think it's cool. I love this because, like, I've been really thinking about getting a e chassis, and this is right hand drive. Do you make one and we can have matching ones, but overseas, hey, hey, you could do a genius paint. idea. You, you're more comfortable in a left hand drive car, and yeah. I'm more comfortable in a right hand drive car. So, I'll give you TJZ's stock Z, and I'll take this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that seems like a great, <laughs> a great deal. Great trade. Great. But no, this looks amazing, bro. Thank What's you. under the hood? 2J? No, everyone keeps thinking this because everyone pushed JC because JC's fit better and e chassis better than e chassis engines do. Why is there a dip here? You'll see why there's a dent there. It's a bump. It's a bump, Sammy. Get it right. right. Oh, why is the wastegate so far up the front? Uh. Why are you giggling? <laughs> Does everyone take note right here of how close that fan motor is to that pulley? Yeah, that is wild. Have you ever seen a Jay-Z and an S chassis? No. Usually the fan touches the yeah, water That's true, yeah, that's, that's true. true. Oh. The goal is to make this so it's easy to fix, so we try to keep everything real accessible. And like... This looks amazing, Jimmy. Thank you. So is the dent to clear this? Yeah. The turbo. Wow. wow. Every every once in a while it gets quiet and we're like, yo, I think we could drift. Let's get a couple laps in. Or just like donuts, because I'll take any seat time I can to get more comfortable with this car because I need it. Chill real quick, they went for it. <laughs> I didn't send it enough the second time I sent it too much, but we gotta we gotta kill it. That, that's all for today, folks. But man, just having those couple of laps like is a huge help. I'm feeling better. The car still feels very foreign. And so like there's a lot of things where I'm like, oh I wanna do this, and I'm still trying to figure out how to get there. Um proximity. I, I'm getting better. Like I was like trying to figure the inside clips and stuff like that. That does some things that I'm just not 
anticipating because I just don't know how the chassis behaves in movements yet. But dude, a, a good day at the track will do that for me. I, I'm not the best drifter in the world by any means. I'm getting better and I'm really proud of myself and that's all that matters. I've yet to have like a really, really good right hand drive tandem and I just need that one to break the ice because I like left hand drive, I know exactly like where to put it and my body doesn't hesitate. But like right hand drive, for, I'm like, feels like I just like regressed like a year in tandems in a sense of like I get nervous near cars. And it's just because like I'm in a weird position. My, my spatial awareness is kind of whack. So I just need to break that and we'll be good. I'm not scared to hurt the car. Good. Which Don't is good. Be. No, it is. It is good. We'll get, we could fix it. <laughs> With your phone flashlight. So what you guys do, baby? definitely softer it's cool though because like these cars do i think look really good in like attack mode like i think they really do there's a lot of chassis that like i don't really care for Over form. yeah that's what we're at you gotta have some form in there no stamping <laughs> So we didn't have time to take driver's photo, so I decided to take full advantage of the opportunity. What was that, Adam? He does that sometimes. Inappropriate. Inappropriate, guys. <laughs> Inappropriate, Adam. Uh, so I got to bust it. I had to do the tracks too on the red, and I love it, right? Everyone's like, oh, three stripes, bro. Three stripes. Nah, Beamer's got one stripe. I got one stripe. So you got to pull it up? You got to pull it up. That's oh, it. Style. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, but pull next time. Y'all want to send send him presents, send him track suits. I'm a Probably. large bottom XL top. That's all I'm saying. I'll take one too. All right, all right, boys, we're here back at the Airbnb. This is day day three of trip. Four. Day trip. two of being here. Yeah. So uh, a lot of running around today. Uh, trying to help Adam with everything he's got going on, and uh, we had, but we had a lot of fun in the mix of it and captured a lot of good moments of it. And uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it. But um, tomorrow is the test day at OSW. Uh, driving out in the compound today was a bonus. I was not expecting to be able to do that. You know, it was really cool, but just driving out in the compound alone has already gotten a lot of insight on the chassis and some things. Uh, we already changed a couple of things, getting ready for tomorrow. We'll talk about it later on, but yeah. Anything else? Big day tomorrow. Yeah, big day. Big day tomorrow. Big day with Big Steve. Sure. So uh, you guys know the deal. Like, comment, subscribe. Stay, from, stay, stay tuned for more content. We'll see you guys very shortly.